What's going on guys? So I have gotten so many requests to make this video and I apologize for putting it off for so long, but trucks are not really my thing and I finally decided, all right, you know what, I'm just gonna sit down and make this video. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about 10 used trucks you should never buy. Now if you've seen my video series on 10 used cars you should never buy, I think I'm, I've done six parts on that by now. That's kind of the uh, most popular series on my channel. So I decided, you know, let's do 10 used trucks you should never buy. You guys definitely want to see it, so why not? So as with all of my other videos that I've done on used cars you should never buy, or trucks in this case, I want to give the same disclaimer uh, that I do at the beginning of every video, and that is that not every single truck is going to have every single problem that I mention. It might also have more problems than the problems that I mention. It might not have any problems that I mention or, you know, some combination of that. So I'm not saying that you, if you have this truck, you're going to have these four problems that I mentioned, nothing else. First up is the 2000 to 2008 Chevy Silverado in GMC Sierra. The Silverado and Sierra are essentially the same mechanically, which is why we'll include them both as one. Both trucks are and have been one of the best selling trucks in America for some time, but that doesn't mean it comes trouble free. One of the most common problems was the instrument cluster, including the speedometer, tachometer, and other gauges not working. Steering problems were just as common as clunking from the steering shaft wasn't rare. Rusted out brake lines were a big problem that owners were forced to deal with too. Under the hood, the Silverado and Sierra were actually pretty good, with the exception of some of the 5.3-liter V8 models that drank oil like it was water. Number one, the 2001 to 2003 and 2011 to 2014 Dodge Ram 1500. Well, sadly, there's no shot in hell we'll ever get through a video like this without including some sort of Dodge or Chrysler product, so you're just gonna have to deal with it, guys. They're just they're not good. The Ram 1500 is on here for two different generations and year ranges. For the 2001 to 2003 models, transmission failures, severe oil sludge buildups, engine failures, and even cracked dashboards were all common. 4.7 liter Magnum V8s seemed to be the problem and the cause in most of these cases. Furthermore, the 2001 to 2003 Ram 1500 has been subject to more than a dozen various recalls. The 2011 to 2014 really wasn't much better. Uh, it received horrible safety greetings and was cursed with the infamous Chrysler TIPM. Electronic issues were common too, and owners also complained of rough transmission shifting. One thing I do want to point out, every time I wear a shirt with this logo on it, people think that I am a Maserati fan. This is not a Maserati logo. This is a Maserati logo. This is my school logo, aka Arizona State University. So please, do not think that I am a Maserati fan. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not a Maserati fan, it's just I don't own Maserati merchandise. Number three, the 2002 to 2008 Chevy Avalanche. The Avalanche is no longer in production probably because it never sold very well and was based on an SUV platform. The Avalanche was a poor truck for towing, but that's not the real reason it's on this list. First off, transmission problems in the earlier years of Avalanche were common. Oil consumption in the later model years was very prevalent and caused owners headaches. The dashboard was also prone to cracking and the speedo often read incorrectly. And cracked dashboards are going to be a very common theme in this video, uh, oddly enough, so just kind of pay attention to that. Number four, the 2006 to 2007 and 2012 to 2015 Ram 2500 and 3500. Another Chrysler product. It's pretty funny at this point, isn't it guys? Anyways, both the year ranges of the 2500 and 3500 on this list suffered most commonly from death wobble, which made the truck seem extremely sketchy at speeds while driving. 2006 and 2007 models also suffered transmission problems and poor suspension components. While the 2012 to 2015 Ram 2500 and 3500 don't have many significant problems outside of death wobble, I'd still tread carefully buying one since it has developed some problems while still being essentially a new truck in some cases. Number five, the 2005 to 2013 Toyota Tacoma. Finally, something that isn't domestic. Tacomas have been subject to a massive 700,000 vehicle recall for the 2005 through 2011 models. Leaf springs at the back were prone to corrosion which could have led them to fracturing and coming into impact with other parts of the truck, like the fuel tank, obviously very dangerous. 
Owners often complained of the radio failing or malfunctioning too. Rust and poor paint quality was also a complaint. Being a Toyota, the engine and drivetrain were fairly good with a few minor exceptions, but these are other issues that should be noted and taken in consideration if you ever consider buying one. And if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all so much for your support. Number six, the 2005 to 2008 Nissan Frontier. 2005 through 2008 Frontiers have some of the most consistent transmission issues ever seen in trucks. The radiator has a design flaw that causes the problem with the transmission, oddly enough. To be more precise, the radiator is prone to cracking, after which the coolant would find its way into the transmission. And obviously, coolant slash antifreeze and transmission do not mix well together, so that causes pretty terrific and horrible damage. So. That's a big red flag against the Frontier. Number seven, the 2004 to 2005 Ford F-150. Even America's best-selling truck and vehicle isn't perfect. The F-150 has long been the benchmark of the everyday hauler, but the 2004 and 2005 models weren't as good as the others. Engine problems don't necessarily account for most complaints, but they're by far the most serious issues. Spark plugs that break off inside the head or pops out, loud noises from the motor, and all kinds of other engine failures have accompanied the F-150 throughout those first couple years. Then there's the power window failure which also occurs in these models. Finally there's a transmission failure too. Needless to say, there are more than a dozen recalls on this truck. Thankfully most of these issues were addressed by 2006, the third year of the 11th generation F-150. Number 8, the 2000 to 2006 Dodge Dakota. The Dakota is another small truck that faded into nothing over time as the demand for them disappeared. 2000 year models experienced loss of oil pressure due to sludge buildup and brake problems. Brake troubles continued in later models as well. The Dakota's brakes would simply lock up at random, requiring caliper pads and rotor replacement, which is obviously very pricey. The 2004 and onward Dakotas experienced irregular shifting, rough idling, and more brake troubles. AC problems were not as common as the other troubles mentioned, but should still be noted that they existed. Number 9, the 2004 to 2005 and 2008 Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon. The Colorado and Canyon are nearly identical trucks under the GM umbrella, so of course, like the other GM product on this list, I'll be referring to them as the same thing. Brake and electrical issues were the most common in these model years. Oddly, these trucks had a problem with the AC slash heater only working on full power. Water leaks and rust were also common and caused large amounts of damage. Number 10, the 2005 to 2008 Toyota Tundra. The Tundra is another Toyota to surprisingly make this list. Maybe Toyota isn't as good at making trucks as we thought. Secondary air pump failure, check engine lights, and cold piston slap were only some of the issues. Dull fading paint, especially on the roof and similar to the Tacoma that I already mentioned, and radio malfunction are another concern. The 2005 through 2008 Tundra have been subject to a dozen recalls for a variety of these problems, which means that there's a good chance that they were fixed, but it's still just kind of, you know... A lot of recalls on a car is just kind of a big red flag. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. There are 10 used trucks you should never buy. If you did enjoy this video, once again, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have more additions to this list, uh, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. Also, leave your concerns, your thoughts. Tell me what you thought about the video. And yeah, that's going to end this video, guys. ASU shirt, not Maserati shirt. Also, one more thing. I did get sent out a nice heads-up display from... Hudway, so probably a product review coming on this in the next video Saturday, so stay tuned for that, and I'm going to stop rambling at this point. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.